Well, in many cases, violent crimes are connected, but proving that connection can be challenging. Now there's expanded technology aimed at helping police. Here's I team reporter Christina Williams with this week's case files. This technology is aimed at helping police officers across the country identify if a weapon was used in multiple crimes and which ones. The moment a gun is fired, there's a lasting impression. That impression is similar to a fingerprint left behind on a casing. Those marks are all unique to the firearm. They're left during the manufacturing process just from the tool marks that are that are used. Jared Schultz is one of the techs at the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation. He examines evidence from gun crimes and submits casings into the National Integrated Ballistic Information Network, or NIBIN. First, the casing is scanned using 3D technology. Then it's entered into the national database. In a matter of minutes, those images are compared to others across the country. If there's a potential match, it prompts a tech to take a closer look. That lead brings both pieces of evidence side by side, where a forensic scientist weighs in. We can have a sample here and a sample here, and we can look for individual characteristics. The national database can give detectives key information and connect a weapon to multiple crimes. If cartridge cases were left at a scene and they find a firearm at a suspect's house, we're able to confirm if that firearm did in fact fire those cartridge cases. In Bowling Green, the state crime lab recently added NIBIN technology. It gives local law enforcement a chance to walk in with evidence and walk out with answers. Some larger departments already use the system. For example, in Toledo, detectives know a weapon used in a 2017 unsolved double homicide is linked to other crimes. In this instance, uh, casings from this murder match casings from other scenes. If they can link somebody to that gun, they might be able to link them to the crime scenes as well. And while the knowledge doesn't always solve a crime, it's a tool that brings police one step closer and those involved in the shootings off the street. For this week's Case Files, Christina Williams, 13 Action News.